Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way, West Ham 1, Manchester United 2. I don't know, was that a penalty? Look guys, I want to tell you guys what I think. It, that's a, it's a disgrace for the Premier League. You know, when that action happened, I looked at what was going on. And uh, if you didn't, I mean, if you didn't know that the league is kind of manipulated, then you haven't been watching the Premier League in the past decade. Look, I am very convinced. I have an instinct in me. I'm a person, I have an opinion. You should tell me yours. <laughs> and there is um, there is some um, there's a conspiracy going on that uh, uh, the league uh, is being managed by you know you know what's happening is politics let me just put it this way you know what is happening in the US politics with all this conspiracy and whatever I am very convinced if you're lucky to listen this listen I am very convinced that in the nearest future there will be a massive conspiracy about how leaks are being manipulated behind. I feel sorry for force the fans who we think everything is just clean and clear. We think that because uh, people win leaks is just because of their ability. Yes, there is that factor, but there is a factor of about uh, also in regards to management. But look, I don't want to take the victory for um, West Ham away. I think West Ham deserve to win because at the end of the day, the result is what you see. Um, the results will be decided by the players, but uh, some decisions can also be influenced by those who manage the game. I am so disappointed. And look, for those of you who are ten out, uh, Tunde Joy. I mean, I really, I know, I don't want him to be sacked, but I think he should be sacked. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? I don't want Ten Hag to be sacked, but I think he should be sacked. And when he is sacked, all of you, I hope you're Manchester United fans, but fans. In less than three months, the next manager will be crying for the next manager to be sacked. Look at that position where Delo had the ball. Why did Delo not score in an empty pool? Look at the way the players are. I know that Ten Hag has done a lot by taking away uh, some player power in that team. You see, Rashford has just become a normal player from Manchester United. But I think there is something behind the scenes where players still have some power on that team. If you look and you listen to what Ericsson said a, a month ago about players wanting it, there is a clear, um, there is a clear, I mean, it's, it's very clear. There is a clear observation that Manchester United, some Manchester United players who are more about themselves. And you can see, I mean, it is, it is just so clear that these players don't play for the club. You can say, oh, they, but they scored a goal. In the first half, United had to, it had to be 3 0 Manchester United. It had to be 3 0 Manchester United, except you didn't watch the game. So I don't see how you take the game and just put everything from the penalty is to play Ten Hag's fault. For the fact that Dola didn't score is Eric Ten Hag's fault. For for the fact that we have lost is Eric Ten Hag's fault. If you look at football that way, then just I mean you you I would I, I would just rate you on that TikTok fan. Yes, Ten Hag has made some mistakes. Yes, Ten Hag, uh, like all managers have mistakes that I have made, but he will only deal with the players he would they uh, they uh, we have. Believe me, I can tell you guys that I'm. Guardiola will not get the, the best of this club. He will not. He will not. Anyway, let's go with the player ratings uh, from today. I think uh, Onana, he was, uh, I mean, very quiet for Onana. Game, apart of the goals, uh, Onana, Onana for me, I give him a, a solid six for Onana. Uh, Delete, that wasn't a penalty for me. Delete is a six. Uh, Mazuari, uh, I mean, we have to be knowing about, we have to be concerned about these players' injuries. Uh, Mazuari, a 5.5 for me. Uh, Delo, Delo, well, I'll just give Delo a five. And the reason I'm doing so is because I think Delo from, he has been a disappointed, disappointment Sorry, this season so far. He had a fantastic season last season, which uh, even made him eye on his position with the, with the Portuguese national team. But this season, I think he cannot manage the pressure of being at the very highest level. Delo had to be, I mean, Delo has not been influential for Manchester United this season, let's be honest. Uh, let's go with Casemiro. For me, Casemiro was clearly the, the man of the match for me. Yeah, I'll give him a, a week seven. You know, solid seven, a week seven. Uh, Bruno Fernandes didn't have the worst of games so as well. 6.5 for Bruno for me. I don't know what you would, you would give. West Ham is a team that when you play against them, you control the game and score your chances. There is no way to explain on how to beat a club like West Ham. It is a defensive team. So when you have your chances and you don't put them behind the net, you lose it as Manchester United just did. So we are, um, yeah, I am so disappointed, guys, uh, in this game. And I and I want to hear from you, uh, you the Manchester United uh, fans. What will change when Eric Ten Hag is sacked? If I could make a click for Ten Hag to be sacked now, I would do it. 
please sack Ten Hag. So all of those guys who thought Ten Hag was the problem will know that Ten Hag was not the problem because these players will play well for three games and will disappoint you again. I have said this many times on this channel, which is never shared to nobody, is that the only way that Manchester United plays well, we need to sell Bruno Fernandes, we bring a ball-playing midfielder, we need to sell Marcus Rashford, we need to bring players who want to make their name, players with that zeal. What we are seeing now is what we saw with Raf Ragnik, where players, I'm not saying they are down tools, they are, they are, they are, but players are not, I mean, they are not giving it all. At the end of the game, they, at the end of the day, sorry, Manchester United have better players than, than, than West Ham. Manchester United even played better than West Ham. But it's about who wants it most. It is not always the best team that wins, but it's the team that wants it most that wins, if I'm making sense. So that's where I am where I, with this game. I'm so disappointed with the, not, I'm not disappointed about the game. I'm not even disappointed to some extent with the refereeing. But I'm disappointed in the way that the, the Mafia, which is VAR, the new Mafia. Let me say, if VAR was there, Manchester United would have not been a champion for this long. Liverpool wouldn't have been. Because there is a level of manipulation in VAR, which, uh, I mean, you know, as there's this old say, saying that you can, uh, I mean, you, you, you can do things over and over again. 99 games for the whatever and one day for the, for, 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 for the owner. So it's, you can do things all over, over again, but uh, there's a point in time where you'll be caught on what you're doing. And I think there is a story behind VAR which it hasn't helped. VAR is not something that helps about it. I know that I'm saying this from a Manchester United point of view. Maybe I wouldn't say that again if it was for Manchester United. But I want to tell you guys, remind you guys that um, there are many actions here in this game today. There are many actions that... Um, it makes me ask myself uh, if this uh, whole Manchester United thing, uh, the, sorry, the whole Premier League thing is uh, that uh, straightforward. I just think there is something there. So in the midfield, let's go. Let me just close my, my, my uh, player ratings. In the midfield, I, I just think that um, I said Casemiro, man of the match, Bruno, 6.5. Uh, Ganacho, 6.5. I think he was, um, yeah, he would have, he would have scored uh, in the first half. Uh, Rasmus, 5. Uh, Rasmus didn't do anything. I would say um, uh, Rashford 5.5 and um, Dalo, maybe even I've given Dalo a 5. I think Dalo deserve a 4 because if we scored that Dalo's goal, it would have put us on an edge in, um, and help us manage the game better as well. So um, uh, Eric Tenard, I mean Eric Tenard is solid 6. I, I don't see a part of uh, um, having a player like Ogate not playing, uh, not even having a, a minute in the pitch. Uh, I think Eric Tenard did everything he, he could. I have told you guys that I do. I am Eric Eric Tenag is is doing the same thing that um we had Van der Beek that Van der Beek was done when he, uh, the, giving the treatment that Van der Beek was given by uh, Odegaard Soska. Eric Tenag, I am not sure that Ogate is Eric Tenag's player. That's it. Ogate isn't Eric Tenag's player. I think Ogate is a player that really keeps the ball, that stops all the movements if we're playing against an aggressive team. But I think Eric Tenak, he doesn't hit the player, but it's not his kind of player that he wants he, uh, to use this season. Let's see how it goes, but maybe this must be his last game. Anyway, guys, uh, congratulations to... Um, I thought it was. I thought you guys was going to be 2-1 win Manchester United in my preview, but it turned out to be the other way, so I jinxed it. I, I put my hands up on that one. But Manchester United has just been beaten by West Ham two goals to one in a game that United would have been leading in the first half through three goals to nil. How how can this happen? I don't know. Someone should tell me in the comment below. Guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV. And uh, yeah, yeah, we give our opinions. And, you know, yeah, we are just an organic TV. We don't have all those flashy things you see everywhere. Well, guys, tomorrow we'll be back with five things we learned. In this game, in this game, and hopefully we will get you will discuss more on the tactics on why things happen and uh, how we can improve it. But for now, I can tell you this: I will be the over the moon if Eric Tenag is sacked. But I don't want him to be sacked. You see what I'm going with this? Anyway, I'll explain to you in the video tomorrow. Talk, talk to you soon. Bye bye.